Hello everyone. Today in this video, we will discuss about ex vivo gut sac study and how to perform non-inverted gut sac method. The ex vivo gut sac method is used to investigate drug transfer. So basically this method is used to investigate the absorption of drug in the mucosal region of the intestine and how much drug is efflux out in the serosal region of the intestine. And for this study, different animal intestine is utilized such as goat, rat or chicken intestine. This study is of two types, inverted gut sac method and non-inverted gut sac method. In inverted gut sac method, the intestinal sac is inverted with the help of the glass rod and then the drug solution is filled into it and we can investigate the transfer of drug from serosal side to the mucosal side. Whereas in non-inverted gut sac method, we use as such intestinal sac and we can investigate the transfer of drug from mucosal side to the serosal side. Furthermore, as PGP is also present in the intestine, this study can also be used to demonstrate a drug's PGP inhibition role and to select a potent PGP inhibitor based on its in PGP inhibitory effects. This study can also be done by in vivo method but in in vivo method the whole animal is utilized and also the institutional animal ethics committee approval is required. So to mimic this in vivo condition the ex vivo gut sac method in which only a part of the animal that is only intestine is utilized to carry out the experiment in a lab in a very simple steps. So these are the steps in which first is cutting and washing. Tying, then second is tying from one end, then tying from another end after filling drug solution, then clamping and last one is sampling. Now let's see methodology to perform each steps. Step 1 is cutting and washing. As we can see in the video, we have to isolate the ileum and the segment is to be cut in a 8 to 10 cm length. Then, uh, then ileum is to be properly clean and washed with a buffer solution. Then step 2 is tying from its one end before injecting the drug solution and during this process aeration is to be provided continuously. Then step 3 is after tying its one end fill the drug solution into it and tie its another end. As we can see in the video we have to tie both the end properly so that the drug will not leak. Now step 4 is clamping. After tying its both the end tightly, the filled intestinal sac is immersed in a beaker containing oxygenated medium at 37 degrees Celsius and during this whole process the oxygen is provided using the aeration tube. Then after clamping, the last step is sampling. Now I am withdrawing sample at the interval of 15 minutes. And it is analyzed using the spe UV spectrophotometer at a specific wavelength. This is the whole assembly setup to investigate the efflux mechanism of various drugs. Thank you for watching. Hope this video is helpful. Please like and share this video and subscribe our channel.